Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we are looking at the Block Party minigame. Now, this is my favorite minigame of all time. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't played it before, it's a really fast-paced minigame where you get given a color and you have to get on the square before the time runs out and all the other colors disappear. So you can play it on your own, you can play it with friends, you can play it with a whole group of people if you want, um, which is really awesome because most minigames require a minimum number of people, although this one you can play on your own and test yourself, see how high you can get. So first of all, we are going to have a quick demonstration of this map which is automatically generated and then we're going to create our own and show you all the different options. So if we go ahead and click join, it will say starting in 10 seconds, teleport us to the spot we set on the map and then once it hits zero we will be given a colour and we have a few seconds to get to Cyan and if we quickly jump over here you will see that only Cyan is left and all the other colours disappear out of the map. So Cyan has appeared again and let's go ahead and jump on it and as again the blocks have all disappeared and then we get another colour blue and the game continues on like this until there is only one player left. So you can choose the difficulty of each map using a command which is very straightforward, we'll show you that a bit later. Uh, but as you can see, this is pretty much how the game works and depending on how good you are, you might last a really long time or if the difficulty is really high, you might die like that and lose the game. So we will be teleported back to the lobby that we set and if we wanted to join, we could hit the sign or we can go ahead and create our own arena. So that's what we're going to do now. So there's a few things that we need. So let's go ahead and just grab a few blocks and signs for the lobby and then we can go ahead and create our own brand new arena. So this is going to be our arena platform, obviously you can make it look much nicer than this, but if we do forward slash bp help this will show us all of the commands and the first one we need to do is bp set main lobby and what will that will do, that will teleport everyone back here. Then if we do forward slash bp create arena and then a name, let's call it server miner, that's going to be our brand new arena name. So then we need to find a wide open space. So this is for the arena that gets generated on its own. You don't need to build it. So if we do 4 slash BP setup, it will create a wall arena, a large one. If we do glass, it will be glass. If we do terracotta, it will be a large terracotta. If we do concrete, it will be a large concrete. You probably get the idea. However, we can make these smaller arenas which are less laggy. So if you do 4 slash BP setup small and then either glass, terracotta, concrete or whatever, it will not take up as much time to generate and it will be less laggy to run. So let's go ahead and make a small glass one. So quick as a flash, it gets generated, which is a lot quicker than the larger one, which took maybe 10 to 20 seconds on this server. Then if we fly down, do forward slash BP set lobby and the mini the name of the arena, so server miner, we have pretty much done everything. So all we need to do now is set the sign and minimax players. So to do that, let's go ahead and do forward slash BP set min players and then the arena name, so server miner, and then the amount one. Of course, make sure you spe spell min correctly and then we can go ahead and change it to max and then set the max to two, for example. And that will be that. So then to make the sign, we do forward slash, well, we just do block party on the top line. The second line is going to have join and the third line is the arena. And then hit done and it will change. It will add some colors and there we go. So if we hit the sign, we will join. We'll be teleported to the lobby, which we set in the middle of the arena and the game will start in 10 seconds as usual. So that is our brand new arena and as you can see it works perfectly, yellow has appeared so let's go ahead and go on to yellow and then what colour is going to be next, orange and there we go. If you do 4 slash bp help 2 that will open up the second page and what we can do here is set the difficulty so we can change it from a low number to a high number depending on how quickly and how good your players are. So we can set it to 5, make it more difficult and um, there we go, so we can rejoin it and test it out. Obviously there are a few more commands such as the BP reload if you change the config, the list to see all of the arenas and the BP end all if you're having issues with the plugin. But I haven't, it's uh, worked fantastically and all I did was download it and plugged it in my server and there we go. So that is how you set it up. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the block party folder and as you can see there are three YML files. 
So up at the top we have the arenas.yml. In here there is just the data that we have saved and as you can see it tells you the difficulty and the world, minimax players etc. So you don't really need to mess around with that, you can obviously change it in game if you want to. Then if we go into the messages.yml, in here will be all of the messages that will appear to players or people setting up arenas, um, so that's pretty helpful. And finally we have the config.yml. So in here there's a couple of things. So we have the rounds per game, there's the countdown, the default minimax players if you don't set it, whether you want an economy reward, so um, if you use Vault with this plugin, uh, you can give people maybe $30 for winning a game, or you can make it $1,000 depending on um, your economy in the server. You can also have an item reward, so you can give people one diamond as well, and a command re reward as well. So um, you can even put people in the group, for example. So this uses permissions X and it will put them in group color pro. Then we have a start winner announcement as well. Um, and you want sounds and fireworks for the winner and sounds and fireworks are always nice. So that is everything in the config files. There's really not too much in there. It's just a fun mini game that you can just drop in your server and away you go. So let's go ahead and look at the spigot page. It's made by Chucky025 and it's updated to 1.13, the latest uh, version of Minecraft. And in fact, there was a new version released today at 1.47. So uh, go ahead and download that. It worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. If you want to download it, big download now button here. There'll be a link in the description. If you want the server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want to check out my playlist, they'll be in the description as well for even more tutorials and plugins. So that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next week.